Hello and welcome to part one of a new three-part series called Spring City, Spring City, Utah. Anyway, a step back in time and history and lots of nice, well-kept structures in that town. This is one of them. And today, block in, we tried to cover this canvas as quickly and efficiently as we could and um, to get ready to try to balance this. I can already see some things that I need to balance out. And, um, but, you know, it's a good rough in, so give yourself a break. It's not that hard. All right, so um, get outside and paint. It's springtime, kind of. It's March. Um, paint with your friends. Get critiques. Don't be intimidated by a white canvas. And my job is to just keep introducing difficult subjects for you to paint. So uh, if you can do all this, you can do just about anything. All right. Let's get started. Bye-bye. Hey, welcome to part one of a three-part series titled Spring City. Spring City is in Utah. Kind of a step back in history. A lot of the structures, very well kept there. All right. So today is block-in. But when you have structures or animals, like horses, you have to get the drawing right. So we're going to spend a lot of time today just doing the drawing with transparent oxide red. If you do not have transparent oxide red, um, burnt sienna will do it. Uh, I can use that too, burnt sienna. But um, the uh, transparent oxide red is, I call it the old Richard Schmidt uh, color. Kind of made that famous for his drawing colors, and I love to draw with it. Okay, so let's just put a foundation line, I don't know, somewhere around the center, maybe a little bit below, and figure out where these structures are going to go. Okay, so let's start with getting these houses in, okay? There's a fence in front. This fence that's up front here, it kind of continues up in here too, across here. But let's worry about that later. I'm trying to get my apexes right. And I think there is kind of a big shadow up in here. I think the real apex is here. I think there's a porch coming off here too, off the back. Big pine tree right here. All right. So we need an edge here, edge here, here. And then there's a great big fellow right here. And I think we need double windows up in here, single here, single here. Not so bad. Then there's another structure right behind it. Okay. And then there is a guy that's right in here. Big dark here. Lots of darks in here. A lot of this is in shadow. That's the struggle with this. And I think we have a great big old tree right in here. I kind of like him to be there to
just kind of tell you where things are at here. Then we're going to have pine trees here, here, here. Looks like we have background shrubs here, here, mountain here. Okay, I think not too bad. It's not the greatest fence I've ever done, so. I think this is a double fence. Okay. There are pretty big guys here, so. All right, shoo! That's over with. Let's step back and see if this works. And I'm getting a sip of coffee way back here. I started a wood stove in the, in the, uh, I have a wood stove and I have electric heat. But on these chilly mornings, I like to fire the place up with the wood heat because it smells so good and it uh, really warms the place up quickly. So I put my coffee on top of the stove. Keeps it nice and warm. All right. Let's get started with a few basic colors. All right. I'm going to double check my cameras. Recording. Recording. You might notice uh, my canvas is slightly um, uh, toned. It's just a light wash on there. And um, let's get started with some yellow ochre. No, I've got a better idea. Let's get the pine trees. Blue, transparent oxide red, yellow ochre, yellow ochre, yellow ochre. And we have trees. Another one here. I don't have to overpower anything, but I think these little darks are important. I think there's just some dark down here. I don't know what all this stuff is, but it's kind of dark. And I see some over here too. I think there's yellow colors up here. Let's get some yellow and cad yellow medium. Little bit of blue ultra, little bit of blue ultra, and let's get some yellowy colors here, and I think here too, and we'll spread the wealth over here. There's some ultra blue. White, ultra, I'm working on the mountains now. Mountains behind. And let's go here. Kind of disappear somewhere in this area. Let's bring them all the way over. I'm just using the old worn out number one or two, uh, two, 2025, kind of a stiffer brush. I think there's some darker grays up in the sky here. And here there are ominous gray clouds. Ominous. Let's go back to blue, blue, yellow ochre. And I think we've got a nice tree to put in here. And we have a great big pine tree over here. All 
right, and there's some real good darks. I'm going to just go blue now. A little bit of alizarin in here. And I see some good darks over in here. And here. 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 This is all kind of ominous over here. It's even darker over on this side. Kind of going around looking for darks. Using my ultra blue. This is pretty darn dark in here. And of course we have some really good darks up on the roof. Let's just stay with the yellow ochre and blue here. Big window here, I think. Door here. Door. And I think there's a roof that comes down to here. Big dark there. I think there's more of a yellow ochre look over in this area here. I think we need a big dark right in here and here. All right, we're going to get back in the sky. Let's do that, okay? I think there's some blue up in here. So if you've got some cerulean, something like that, that would work well. All right. Let's get into light gray now, into the sky here. Let's, let's make it a little darker. Alright, time to get these fence posts in, so let's just get some good rust color in here. My phone is going crazy. First Steve wants to talk to me, and then you call. So I have to call him back after taping. But you want to get started in this, you want to stay with it. You don't want to keep stopping the tape and starting all over again. All right, let's get some gray back in here. And there's kind of a subtle darker gray color right in here. And there's a dark, I think, back here somewhere. Oh, I lost my roof back there. I had a nice light roof. And I will have to get that later. All right. Let's move these colors away a little bit. And... Okay, so let's clean the palette. 
and check my time to see how I'm doing. Ooh, we are doing so well. All right. So let's get some white and some permanent. Permanent green. Let's get some cad yellow light. Good yellow light. But maybe before that we need some shadow color. Let's go blue, gray. I think we need some shadow color up front, below the house, below the tree. So let's go with a uh, 270. Rosemary, and I think we've got dark shadows in all kinds of places, even darker. Come on, darker, get a little brown in there. Transparent oxide red. Here we go. See, that has a nice darker thing to it. It's kind of a unifier color. And it unifies the bottom here. <clears throat> We're going to put some shadows in these fences. <clears throat> and now we are ready. I'll put a little bit of a darker green along the fence line. <clears throat> It's like um, there's always taller grasses along the fence line because they can't be cut. I think I need a darker color. So I'm going to add some yellow ochre, some cad yellow, some ultra, some cobalt, and some white. Let's get back to some more yellow and white. I think that has some punch. So time for a bigger brush. So I am turning to a 279 Rosemary. Still too light, but I'll use it as a base color. Yes, so you, you see me working away here with no pauses to try to get this thing blocked in with thin colors before that dinger goes off. I think the drawing's not too far off, it's just really rough. And, uh, well, I am a impressionistic painter, so I try to leave some of it up to your eye to figure out. But I don't want to be sloppy. I want to be precise. I thought if I was a plenary painter, I could be sloppy. No, you have to really give all notions of that up. All right, that is looking like we've got just about everything covered except these two light roofs. And maybe I should worry about those a little bit later, okay? But I think for now, that is a really good start to uh, get this thing going. So now I'm going to uh, soften up my edges and pick up extra paint. Just have a great big old two-inch brush, and I'm loosening my edges. Oop, got a little too slap-happy there. 
But you get the idea. Doesn't hurt. Okay. Time to get back and look at this beauty. And I think that is a good start. So tomorrow will be balance day. I'm going to continue to balance these colors. I think my green is not quite right yet. And um, my values here even have to be darker on this building and in the clouds. But hey, not a bad start. Thanks for coming by. Let's bring this part one to an end.